news and sport with borders with David Knox. Good afternoon. A flood alert has been issued for the entire borders as heavy showers continue to hit the region. The Scottish Environment Protection Agency say that people living near water courses should remain vigilant. A yellow Met office warning for heavy rain, heavy rain remains active until 8pm. We will have a full weather forecast at the end of this bulletin. Health bosses are asking for people to stay away from A&E at Borders General Hospital unless they have a life-threatening emergency. They report that the emergency department has been extremely busy throughout today and suggest using NHS 24 on 111 as an alternative. The appeal comes on the same day that Public Health Scotland revealed that 11% of the 680 patients who went to A&E at the BGH in the first week of July waited for more than 12 hours. A Coldstream man who admitted sexually assaulting a 15-year-old girl has been jailed for eight months at Jedburgh Sheriff Court. 60-year-old Norman Wright pleaded guilty to touching the youngster on the leg, touching her breast under her clothing and forcibly kissing her. The offence happened at his home in Dunn's Road on January the 22nd last year. In addition to the eight months prison sentence, Wright has been placed on the sex offenders register for the next 10 years. A 28-year-old man has been remanded in custody after allegedly being involved in a disturbance in Eyemouth at the weekend. Jamie Thompson appeared in private at Jedburgh Sheriff Court charged with two counts of threatening or abusive behaviour. He also faces a charge of possession of a knife. Thompson made no plea and bail was refused by Sheriff Donald Ferguson. Thompson's due to appear in court again next week. A bid by a licensed cafe to extend operating hours and double its seating capacity to include a section of Melrose Marketplace has led to concerns being raised. Luke Jarman has the details. The new owners of Abbey Fine Wines in Melrose are applying for an extension of hours as well as an increase in seating capacity from 40 to 80, which would include 30 customers sitting outside in the town's marketplace. The licensing application has attracted objections from neighbours as well as Melrose Community Council. Community councillors say there is considerable concern about seating in the marketplace as it would impact negatively on the historic town centre. Neighbours of the cafe claim that recent changes, including the introduction of street furniture, is already having a direct impact on their quality of life. The variation of premises licence will be considered by Scottish Borders Council later this week. Work has started on building more than 50 houses on the town centre site of a former textiles mill in Peebles. March Street Mill closed in 2015 with a loss of 87 jobs. Previous attempts to develop the site for housing were blocked by allotment holders who fought against proposals which would have seen them either moved or evicted from part of the land. Edinburgh-based developer Whitburn Projects, who bought the site last year, gained planning permission and an agreement with the Allotments Association and now starting demo demolition work as part of phase one of their plans for 51, two, three and four bedroom houses. Borders musicians are taking an eclectic mix of Eastern European and Celtic music on tour around the south of Scotland. Morag Brown and partner Lewis Powell Reid widened their musical influences from Scottish folk music to the Middle East and Balkans and will next month launch their debut album, Old Springs New. The duo, who live in Edelston near Peebles, launch a first tour on August the 3rd at Bowden Village Hall. Morag explains their fascination with Eastern European music. We live in the borders and where well, Lewis is from here it, and that was the sort of music he was brought up with because then it sort of feels like it kind of belongs here to us but you know when you're trying to describe it to other people he's trying to get that kind of a, across as not the easiest <laughs> but yeah I mean it's interesting because like there's one of the tracks that sounds like it's from the Balkans and actually it's composed by him you know because that's what the music is that is in his head so that's what came out. Well, turn to Sport 9 border cyclist Oscar Only was back in the saddle today at the Tour de France. He's placed 43rd ahead of today's stage going into the final week of this race. The 21-year-old from Kelso, though, admitted that the previous day's rest day was much needed after Sunday's Pyrenees mountain stage. It was pretty uncomfortable, I think. Also, with the heat, it was quite hot yesterday on the climbs as well, so that already plays a factor. And then, yeah, when I'm trying to get in the break, then it's, you're basically going as hard as you can up the first the first climb the break didn't go up there so then I had to go yeah again that effort on the second climb so that was 
two 30 minute efforts at the start of the stage just to try and get in the break and then when you get in the break then you've, you've still got to press on and then by the end the legs are just empty that's basically what it was like by the end of yesterday now for the border's weather here's christopher blanchett a cloudy end to the day across our region with a few further heavy downpours some rumbles of thunder too the showers will be slow moving where they occur and may lead to poor conditions on the roads with localized flooding and some disruption to transport a met office yellow warning is in force until 8 p.m tonight Overnight, the showers fade and will have lows of 7 to 9 Celsius. Tomorrow, a ridge of high pressure moves in, providing a dry day with long sunny spells and highs of 20 degrees. BBC Radio Scotland weather for the borders. And on BBC Sounds. BBC Radio Scotland. It is 23 minutes to five. You're listening to Drive Time with me, Martin Geisler. We'll be talking about Wales and talking to someone in Wales in the next half hour of the programme. All that and more at the Sport with Gully as well to come. Stay with us. First, though, let's look at this. The Prime Minister has announced a major review of the armed forces to help prepare the UK for what he says is a more dangerous and volatile world.